Have you ever heard people talk about the economy? Perhaps you've heard it mentioned on the news. It's talked about because it affects everyone. People who make up households, the businesses we shop at, and governments. But what exactly is an economy? To answer that, the first thing we need to think about is resources. Resources are things we can use to make what we need and want. They can include land, raw materials, like wood or iron ore, machinery and people. Let's think about sneakers. Sneakers don't grow on trees. We need someone to have a design idea. Then we need raw materials, like rubber, cotton, plastic and metal. And we need people to put them together or to build machines that do. But there's a problem. Resources are limited. We can't have all of the things we want all of the time. We have to make decisions about how our limited resources are used. So, an economy can be thought of as a system where a group of people, businesses or governments make decisions. They have to choose what to make, how to spend their time and what to buy. There can be an economy for a town or community or for a country or even the world. Let's think about Australia's economy. All the parts of our economy are linked, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. A decision made in one part of the economy affects the other parts. So what are the parts of our economy? In reality, the economy is complex, so we sometimes simplify it into main parts or sectors. Let's start with households. That includes you and me. Have you ever bought something from a shop? Perhaps you've even had a part-time job. The household sector is made up of millions of people making choices about what they buy, who they buy from, or how much they save and where they work. Businesses are another sector of our economy. This sector includes all of the companies we work for and whose goods and services we buy. They decide what to sell, what prices to charge and who to employ. Businesses pay wages to households so they can buy things from other businesses, helping money flow around the economy. Next, we have the government. When households and businesses earn money, they pay a part of it to the government. This is called tax. The government then decides how to use this tax money to help Australians, for example, by paying for hospitals, libraries, parks, roads and schools. Our economy is also linked to economies in other countries. Not all of the things we need and want are produced in Australia, so we have to buy some things from overseas, like cars and computers. And we produce some things that people in other countries want to buy, like iron ore to make steel, grain, or education-related services. This trade with other countries is called our international sector. And we have banks. Banks are a type of business that deals in money. Households and businesses use banks to save or borrow money. When you save money with a bank, the bank pays you a little bit extra, known as interest. When you borrow money from a bank, they charge you interest, so you have to pay back a bit more than you borrowed. Many people borrow money from a bank for major purchases, like houses or cars, or to build a business. The amount of interest charged or received is given as a percentage of the amount borrowed or saved, called the interest rate. For example, if you save $100 with a bank offering an interest rate of 3%, you'll get back $103 after a year. Let's say that same bank charges an interest rate of 5% to borrowers. Someone borrowing $100 would need to pay back $105 after a year. Interest rates can influence what people choose to do with their money, how much they save, borrow or spend. When interest rates are high, it's good for savers. They earn more interest on their savings. When interest rates are low, it's good for borrowers. They pay less interest, so their loan is cheaper. But how do banks decide what interest rate to offer? That's where the final piece of our economy puzzle comes in. The interest rates banks offer are influenced by Australia's central bank, called the Reserve Bank of Australia, or RBA. It's not like other banks. You can't borrow or save with it. Instead, it has a special job to do to help keep Australia's economy running smoothly. We'll find out how in the next video. When we put all of this together, we get our whole economy. All the sectors are connected. A decision by one can affect the rest. 
so you aren't just part of the economy, your decisions can influence it. <laughs>